Welcome to the lesson on responding to respiratory distress or failure. In this video, we will discuss management of respiratory distress or failure regarding airway, breathing, and circulation. Initial management of respiratory distress or failure includes opening and supporting the airway, suctioning, and considering advanced airway. Management of breathing includes monitoring oxygen stats, getting supplemental oxygen, and nebulizers. Management of circulation involves monitoring vital signs and establishing vascular access. PAL's management of respiratory distress or failure is adjusted based on the severity of the current condition. For example, mild asthma is treated with bronchodilator inhalers, but severe asthma or status asthmaticus may require ET intubation. As a provider, you must continually assess the individual's current needs and adjust care accordingly. For further information on responding to respiratory distress or failure, refer to Table 14 in your corresponding PALS manual that describes treatments for upper airway, lower airway, lung tissue disease, and CNS issues. This concludes our lesson on responding to respiratory distress or failure. Next, we will review recognizing bradycardia.